So let's start with the world's fastest phone, which is Redmi K20 Pro. In fact, it's so special that we've decided to call it the Alpha flagship. Now, both CPU and GPU have seen a jump of 45% and 20% each. And these are obviously big, major numbers, big numbers for any flagship chip. And this, along with the 7 nanometer chipset, means that it's also more power efficient. Uh, the CPU is 20% more power efficient than 845, and 30% more power efficient in the GPU side compared to the previous generation. So incredible numbers. What does it all mean? You obviously get incredible performance. If you have to compare performance, so if you look at last year's numbers, so you had the iPhone 10 running the A11, and that was at about 245 in terms of Antutu score. And then, of course, you had the 845, which itself was a great chip. And that you saw with our friends at Poco, the Poco F1, and that obviously beat the iPhone with a healthy margin. So you had 291. Then the new iPhones have a 812 Bionic. It's improved. Right? And that clocks and at about 356. Any guesses where the K20 is? Go on. It is at 388, making it one of the fastest phones available today. <clears throat> so with this, we are introducing the second generation game turbo. And this makes a lot of difference. Uh, it enhances the overall gameplay by doing a couple of things that we all expect. So you get better performance. It's optimized. Uh, you have better network optimization as well, so that your pings are lower. However, we've gone one step ahead. We've done something that nobody else has. We've improved the overall touch response. Right? So the touch latency can be adjusted as per your requirements. Again, very important. For example, if you're playing, say, a, a battle royale game, right? how quickly does that touch respond to your fire button so that you are able to kill the other enemy on the net, other side of the world uh, makes a lot of difference in your overall gameplay. But it is becoming more and more important in gaming is sound. So you've got sound quality optimization. Now suppose you are playing a multiplayer game, you can actually hear the footsteps accurately coming from different directions. And in call, uh, in game call optimization, so when you are playing a multiplayer game and you're talking to your friends, it also helps with background noise reduction. I mean, we all have been in a particular game where this one guy left his mic on and kept chattering, right? Or there's some music happening, or his mother's calling at the back. Uh, hopefully, all of this kind of gets sorted with this. So if you look at it, night vision on versus a typical smartphone and how the renders change. that you can get on a smartphone. So here, you can actually change your touch response from a sampling rate of 120 hertz all the way to 180 hertz, a 50% jump. So depending on how good you are in the game, how quickly you want your in-game character to react, this makes a whole lot of difference coming in with just the touch response. This, again, is something that pretty much nobody else has. Uh, so the K20 Pro, again, gives you uh, an advantage when gaming uh, with us. <clears throat> Chipset and optimizations. And we will have an alpha configuration of up to 8 GB of DDR4X, clocked at 2133 megahertz, as well as a storage variant going all the way to 256 GB, which is via UFS 2.1. Now, this is a lot of power under the hood. Now, to cool that off and to ensure that you don't face any lags, even if you're playing for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, we have added an all-new eight-layer graphite cooling system. And let me introduce the very first variant or very first color to you here.
talking about the build quality, uh, aluminum industrial grade frame. You've got a curved con Corning Gorilla Glass 5 at the back with slightly different curvature. It's a 3D overall. And you've got accents like the holographic ring or the power button. And all of this has been designed along with the weight that I spoke about to give you that ergonomic fit. And for the first time ever, we are introducing an AMOLED display on a Redmi device. And we are calling this the Horizon AMOLED display. It goes completely edge to edge in this incredible 6.39 inch full HD plus display. It is AMOLED and we've pushed it all the way to the edges, giving you an incredible 91.9 .9 screen to body ratio. And for the first time, we've got an always on display on the K20 Pro. So right on the screen, without you having to touch the phone, you get the basic information as well as all the icons for your notification, so you know exactly if you need to pick up the phone or not. And why, when this was looking so good, we decided to take it one step further, and we added a system-wide dark mode. So your entire UI goes dark. Now while we are at the screen part of it, We've also added a 7th generation in-screen fingerprint sensor. It's super fast, it's super accurate. We've increased the overall size of the fingerprint sensor so that chances of wrong taps is reduced. Quality is paramount for Xiaomi India, and with the pop-up camera, we have to be doubly sure of this. So the pop-up camera is tested for 300,000 times. That means if you're taking 100 selfies a day, it will last you more than eight years. For these cameras, each camera has a very critical job to do. Of course, the first one, or the primary camera, is a 48 megapixel camera. And this is Sony IMX586 that a lot of you already know. Uh, has been absolutely loved on some of our devices. There's an additional 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. Uh, and this is wider than any other ultra-wide cameras available in the market today. And we've added a third one, which is a telephoto. So you get incredible details, as well as an ultra-wide mode. And if you need to go closer for portraiture, you also have an 8MP. None of them are not doing anything, I guess. None of them are just depth sensors. And what you get along with that is laser autofocus. So fast focus even in the dark, which means you get incredible night shots like this one. Now, with Xiaomi's AI engine, you actually can change the entire sky at one click. And that becomes the main sunlight mode. Uh, it's not just the sky, but if you notice, the entire lighting on the buildings, on the subject, also changes. Look very carefully. I'm going to go into dusk. So it looks absolutely realistic. Now, this is a lot of AI firepower coming in behind. But for us, on the K20 Pro, with that much performance, it happens in an instant. And of course, if you want to make it look really dramatic, you also have a sunset mode. One more thing that Mi fans have loved, we're adding 960 frames per second slow motion. Now, this is slightly different because all three cameras support 4K not just one. First one, of course, is no compromise on the battery. You have a 4,000 mAh large battery. And this, combined with a 7 nanometer chip and an OLED panel, gives you incredible battery life. And on top of that, we've added even more software optimization. So you have a dark mode, you have dynamic power mode, everything else coming in, giving you almost two days of battery life with the K20 Pro. Uh, and there was one more ask along with battery, is how fast can it charge? So happy to announce that the K20 Pro will come with, or will support, sorry, a 27 watt sonic charge.
slowly all the flagships have suddenly decided that none of the people need a headphone jack. Well, the K20 Pro thinks otherwise. We have the headphone jack here.